Hello everybody, welcome back to we're playing another game of League of Legends. I am the Strategy Professor, and I'm going to be playing some Alistar this day on request. Uh, this is going to be live streamed as well. I think I'm actually going to go for Ancient Coin here, as weird as that is. It's just a lot more money, and I think I want the extra health regen against Sona, and the extra mana regen. But yeah, um, so this is part of an ongoing series on my channel where I try to get to Diamond by only playing support every game. Most of them are solo queues, some of them are duo queue with my buddy. We haven't been doing super hot today, unfortunately, but hopefully we can turn around here. The team comps are okay. We have the cannon this time, which is good. Cannon is very, very good. If you don't play cannon, you need to ban cannon. He's that good. I didn't realize how they changed his ult a few patches ago um, until I looked it up. It actually hits everybody every single time in his ult. It used to just hit random people. Like, it would hit a random person every, like, quarter of a second or something. Now it hits everybody every quarter of a second. So it's ridiculous. Like, it's just insane damage. Oh, especially with the proto belt. Because that gives him an extra way to get in there, like, without having to use his flash every time. It's, it's just crazy. Like, you have to ban or pick Kennen every, every time, basically. Because he's very good in lane, too. Like, he's an awesome lane bully, and he's very good at team fighting, and he scales very well. Like, there's just almost nothing he doesn't do. Like, he's not super tanky, but he builds Rylai, or, um, Zonias. So he's kind of tanky. I want Sona to hit me most of the time. Now, I'm probably going to take heal first, just so we can kind of push through. Like, this guy's really out of position. Like, he's eating so much free harass here. Dude, back up. Oh, my God. Wow. I don't think I've seen that before, where someone just literally gets hit seven times and never hits the other person back. I don't remember the last time I've seen that. Well, yeah, Jinx just chased him all the way down the lane. Well, he made Sona flash, I guess. That's something. Dude, don't even. My god, I'm, I really am about to mute this guy. I'm tired of it. Like, from the last couple of games. I just saved this guy from Jinx killing him. And he's like, go on Sona, man. Jeez. Is he legit backing right now, like, with a cannon minion right here? Is this dude for real? Like, did I accidentally queue for normals? This dude literally just backed right now, and he's gonna miss, like, 6 CS. Probably, he's probably gonna miss, like, 10 CS, including a cannon minion, when he had plenty of health and I have a heal in lane. This is real life. This is real plat life. Alright, I'm trying to find my happy place here. This is just, like, exceptionally bad. Like, really, really bad. And on top of that, he's, like, trying to blame me for part of his, like, mistakes. That's alright, though. Other lanes are winning. Jinx is double his CS. He's like not in a position for me to follow up. That's why I'm not going in. Because he like pings and then he runs way back here. And then he runs forward when I'm not there. There we go. Get the Sona, get the Sona. We don't have eyes on their jungler either. Where? Yeah, the jungler's top actually. 
Dude, don't. God bless. He takes so much free damage from this Jinx. Please don't trade with her. They have heal. Like, Sona has a heal right now. And she it shields, too. Like, it's so hard to trade with them early. I can try to get her ass in here. Draven doesn't have any mana. Yeah, just wait on Shaco. I can flash ult, or I can flash Q also. backing up. That's fine. Like, Sona is extremely hard to trade with early on, because she shields and heals and buffs auto attacks, like, and she does decent damage early on. Like, she's... She's a beast. See, they're already back to, like, full everything. And she still, like, has most of her mana. Like, Sona's extremely good levels 1 to 5. Even level 6. Alright, Shaco might come down here. Looks like he's trying to make a play on, um, Fizz. Shaco has no mana. Jeez, now they might hit six before us, so we gotta be careful. guy's getting absolutely obliterated. This is one reason you don't go Draven. Because if you fall behind, then you're just not going to be able to catch up. He left again on a cannon. God bless. That, like, delayed the the tower shot because they were hitting me, so it switched targets, then it switched back. And that's why I didn't get that cannon minion, minion down. And Jinx could ultimate me here soon, so I need to be careful. Does he have flash? One more, baby. Okay, yeah, he's got it. Okay, good. He really needed those stacks to cash in those stacks to catch up in this game. All right. I can't really do a lot. Okay, that's pretty smart. The shield helps out a lot. Need to watch out for Fizz. Okay, we're good. Okay. Alright, so Draven just got a lot of money off of that, so that's good. Oh my gosh. Paul, you just drank vinegar thinking it was apple cider. That's pretty funny. Alright, let's... We'll go for this. Um, Sightstone, this, and probably a ward. Or a, um, one of these. Yeah, I think I just like the coin. It just gives you so much, like, it gives you sustain, it gives you extra mana, and it gives you the 10% CDR, and it gives you a ton of cash. So I kind of like the coin. I know it's weird. 
on Alistar, but you can get the speed up item, the Talisman, which is also good later on. And they're probably gonna get this. I'm not gonna be able to get it. How did he die? He got. She must have crit him. Does she have a crit chance? God, she got a crit off her zeal. Are you kidding me? It's like a ten percent crit. That's how she killed him. He should have had enough health. That's frustrating. I can't get her. All right, I'm just gonna let it keep pushing in there. I'm gonna come up here. One good thing about Shaco though is that he can take towers really quickly. <laughs> Stupid fall drink through in your donuts. Um, thanks, Mystic Candy. Yeah, I think this game's looking pretty good so far. I'm trying to keep up with all the chat. Ignite would be okay in this lane, but not really. You, you need exhaust. Like, Draven's not as much of a kill lane with Alistar as you would think. Exhaust is just better so much. Like, the only champions I would really take Ignite on are the AP mages. Because you can kill them by yourself, basically. So on like 99% of supports, you should take Exhaust. Only with like Zyra and Brand and things like that should you really take Ignite. Like you have to get a kill in lane to make Ignite worth it. Because it's so much worse later on. Okay, there we go. Now he's going. Like Exhaust is just so much better like later in the game. You really, really need it. Even in lane, like, even in, like, all-in situations, like, the exhaust is so much better. Oh, gosh, I couldn't react fast enough. I tried to W back, but... I was, like, talking and looking forward. Alright, I'm gonna go with Shaco and see if we can make some plays up here. I need to get mo mobility boots so I can run around and make plays with Shaco. There's an argument I should get more mobility boots in more games than I do. But it's really just with someone who has high impact, like, su superior roaming. I've definitely lost games that I'm winning before, so I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. Um, but we do have a pretty good uh, we have a pretty good lead going on right now. It's certainly better than losing early lane. Draven, get it. Come on, get it. Get it. Oh my god, kill it. Dude, for real, get this. Are you kidding me right now, Draven? Jesus. Alright, well. He kind of lucked out there, but dude, he backed away and like didn't kill the tower. I guess I should have just let it go, but... Diana has exhaust? An enemy has been slain. Oh my god. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go for max speed here just to make a ton of catches. And then what do I need? Uh, I don't want to go ZZ anymore. I guess I'll just go lock it. So I should have let that tower go. I just couldn't believe it. I had to go get it, but that was stupid. That was just kind of a moment of passion. Please don't feed Jinx. No. 
God bless. Like, dude, come on. Like, you can lose these games because people start getting stupid even when they're winning. Like, they just never stop doing stupid things. I know. I can't really do anything about it, though. Catch this guy. Catch this guy. Catch this guy. Yeah, we just need to zone him. We don't need to do anything here right now. Get this thing. Let's forget it. They're gonna go kill Draven top, probably. There's no wave. Yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> you're splitting as an AD carry with no support anywhere close to you. Oh, God. No, oh, time to leave. Time to leave. Please, Shaco, just leave, dude. Why? Why? Like, this is platinum. This is not normal. I like ZZ, just to answer your question, Mystic Candy. I like ZZ most of the time on most champions. Because it just helps you split push. Because that way, if people are, like, being stupid, like this game, where they're just constantly getting caught out, at least ZZ pushes up a lane. So when you finally catch one of them out... Then you can take towers a lot easier. But I didn't get it this game because I rushed Talisman. Because I'm Alistar and it's really helpful if I can just run around and roam and catch people out. So if you have really good roaming, it might be better to rush Talisman. But ZZ is really good and on a lot of occasions. Jeez, are they gonna... How close are they? Seriously, no one's gonna die here? Not killing me. I don't know who you think you are killing, but it's not gonna be me. I ain't the one. That ocean drake's really helpful. No, dude, just get the freaking towers. Oh, it's not even barren. It's just the stupid... Like... Who cares about that buff? That thing sucks. God bless. Seriously, who cares about this stupid buff? Tower is... A tier 2 tower is way, way better than that stupid thing.
All right. Yeah, that uh, that buff doesn't matter, really. I mean, I don't even remember what it is. Like, that's how inconsequential it is. Like, getting towers is so much better. Yeah, we just need to zone them off. Now, we don't have... Draven's just splitting top again, which is awful. You just get rid of all these wards. Why? What the? <laughs> what? What is this guy doing? Well, I guess we might win anyways. We'll see. This game's so hard sometimes. Uh, 4v4. Is he? Oh, we picked somebody off. Oh, dang it. I should have exhausted a lot faster. That was my bad. Uh, I was hoping that Shaco would come save me. No. I thought Kennen would be able to do things. I should have I should have exhausted a lot faster. That was totally my bad. I just thought Kennen was going to do more damage than he did. Well, I might get a ZZ. I mean, they really don't have much of an AP. They have Fizz. Sona. I guess they do have Diana. I, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and get a ZZ. Even though obviously there's a bit of overlap between the passives there, um, I think it's okay. I just want to push and end the game. Oh, I don't think Zeke's is in the game anymore, Mystic Candy. I don't think so. The thing that gives uh, extra, like, attack damage. Oh no, you're talking about that other. I know what you're talking. That new item. I've. I never get it, because <laughs> they, they nerfed it really badly a little while ago. I don't remember. I know what you're talking about. I, I was thinking like old school Zeke's, the thing that used to give 20% CDR and gave everyone like 10 attack damage or something.
Um, exhaust lowers their damage by something like 35%, lowers their attack speed by 50% or something for like 3 seconds. It basically makes it where they don't do any damage hardly for 3 seconds. Or for 2 seconds, I think. Let me see, I can just hover over it. 2.5 seconds, lowers their attack speed and movement by 30%, armor and magic resist by 10 and their damage dealt by 40%. So basically, it makes it where they won't really hurt you. No, towers. You cannot steal towers. I appreciate that y'all are uh, watching my stream. I really do. If you don't um, actually play League that much, I'm pretty flattered that you're interested in watching me when you're not... Uh, when you don't actually play it that much. I'll try to explain things a little bit better. Right now we don't have to do that much because God. because these super minions are probably going to kill him. See, that's the exhaust right there that I just put on him. And she's going to kill me. Probably. Cannon might kill her. Jinx is super powerful. Dude, Kennen just ult him. Oh, it's not going to matter. Kennen just ult. Oh my god. He waited until the last... Oh my god, are they seriously? They may not actually get the kill here. Yeah, they killed Jinx. Okay. They're going to get it, I think. Yeah, they got it. Like, Cannon was playing around. He could have easily just gone on her with his E and, uh, like, killed her. Why the minions won't dance? <laughs> he was trying to stun the minions with his ultimate. That's pretty funny. Yeah, this Draven just got completely trashed in lane, and he's just, like, of course, trolling. Draven was really bad, but we won. This game isn't about skill, it's about the support carrying you. How long have we been going? 2.39. I guess I can do a little bit more. I'll do a little bit more for you. I'm starting to get kind of... I need to... I need to probably go get something to eat and just like not, not play for a while and go do something else, but... I don't want to... Don't want to abandon you. I'll do one more here. Okay, whatever. That doesn't matter. Oh, I need to stop. Um, if you're just watching the VOD, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start up another one. Do check out the live stream sometime if you'd like. They're a ton of fun. I'll answer any questions that you have, whether it be league questions or girlfriend dating advice questions. You know, anything that you have um, is up for grabs in the chat. I agree, Paul. Allie is a very good champ. I should play Allie more. He's just so good at roaming. So good at initiating. And he's pretty good at peeling. I mean, I don't know why I quit playing him. There are some champions that are very good against him. Tom Kinch is very good against him. Um, there's a few other champions that are good. But anyways, that's going to be it for the VOD. Uh, do check out the rest of the uh, the channel. We have a lot of League of Legends. We have some Total War Warhammer, Legendary Campaigns, all um, all Legendary, like I said. But we don't abuse the auto-resolve system. We don't assassinate wards on the campaign map. Um, we don't do anything else that gives us an unfair advantage. We also have lots of multiplayer for Total War Warhammer. And um, I just started doing an XCOM series. Um, you can catch those on the past streams if you want. I will be re releasing those as individual VODs as well in a series. I just want to get through eight episodes first, and then I'll release them. And I'm also going to do Civ 6 as soon as that gets released. So it should be lots of content on the channel, um, lots of things for everybody. And if you want to watch the live streams, um, they're always, I save those as VODs, 
and I go back and put timestamps on all of them so you can find all of your favorite champions. So, for instance, if you want to see me play a Leona game or a Thresh game or something like that and they're, they're not on the channel, they might be in the live stream. I know that recently I have done a Thresh, I have done a Leona, I have done Rumble support. Uh, but sometimes those games don't work out so well, so they don't make it to the live stream. But if you just want to see my thoughts on specific champions, um, then check it out. And that's going to be it. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you next time.